Democratic Indian Animation Community by Storm with the tease and announcement of Cascado, which is an AI-enabled animation tool for both human and non-human character animation. Today we have some interesting news from the folks at Nikki, creators of Cascado, as they've just released a sneak peek of Cascado for mobile, and this promises to bring the AI-assisted and physics-driven character animation system to mobile devices. With the beta release, slated to be released sometime in March of 2024, this is currently poised to be available for iOS devices which includes iPad and iPhones and hopefully this would come over to Android in the coming months or years. Although all of the planned features coming to the mobile version of this tool aren't confirmed yet and if what we have from the sneak peek is anything to go by, this would likely be shipping with some of the powerful tools just as we have with the standard desktop version. From the demo, we can tell that character poses can be done for keyframing by hand and from the top action buttons, we can see a couple more things that can give a bit of an insight what will be coming to this tool. For example, ghost features, also known as onion skin in other tools will be coming. The video referencing seems to be also another cool one for importing video files for referencing. There's an automatic physics for adding that automatic physics source to the animated character. There's also a button for camera and AR mode for previewing your object in real time. More so, trajectory, just like we've seen with the standard tool, is also coming and we've also got something called point, which I believe accounts for the amateur joints visibility and invisibility. The fingers seems to look like something that you can turn on and turn off, especially if you like to animate with either a mouse or the Apple Pencil. And for sure, we also have texture and finally IK and FK. And from the UI, you can also tell that we have a huge workspace, a big timeline and a couple other UI elements. And currently, there seems to be a trend of more tools coming over to mobile and more especially the iPad. And recently, we saw an announcement from the folks at Maxon announcing that ZBrush will be coming to iPad and of course we also talked about the Cozy Blanket which is an amazing tool for doing retopology and we did see a sister tool called the Uniform from the folks at Spacio and that seems to be coming with a lot of promise. That alongside the new version of Procreate that allows for animation, the Nomad Sculpt which is an amazing tool for sculpting so just in case you do have an iPad and you haven't tried this one out I definitely suggest that you go ahead and try it or you can proceed to try out Forger which is also another very good tool that you can use for sculpting and you can definitely get that one for free as well. So this seems to be something that I think might become a trend and with the way this is going, maybe more standard tools would actually start making mobile versions as the iPad is actually a very powerful device that can handle a lot of things including rendering. And for those who own an iPad that haven't tried out the Octane rendering tool, then you should definitely go ahead and check that out and see all of the amazing things you can do with that right now. So, the folks at Nikki have just recently teased on their Twitter that Cascado will be coming to mobile sometime in March of 2024. And of course, I would like to explore that and try that with you guys. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.